along singing my own song I really should uh, uh, you need to consider doing something I can't say it out loud because they're listening so <gasps> I can't say that either because they're not coming for me they're coming for me the people in the white coats are coming for me I messed up one day, I took this exit right here, 203 Granite City, it wasn't paying attention because I'm very naughty. Well, I took that exit and I'm like, this don't look like the normal exit, what, what, what's going on? Yeah. yeah, I come off a little early and that was a, a little uh, a little stress, stressful, stressful as anything trying to get to uh, the still plate place. Custom still processing, but the still side, the plate side, I should say. So I'm like, what am I doing? What am I doing? myself one of them little uh, mistakes. I, I like watching detailed videos, right? Uh, they're always pretty decent, and yet again they're all the same, but it's okay. I do like watching them though, because uh, it gives me tips and ideas, so that's why I like watching them. I don't watch them with the sound up, because they're a tape as bollocks, but that's just me being a prick. I just, just want to watch the content, and uh, So I watch it, and uh, I need one of them little um, steamy fingery jiggies that they use to uh, clean out the dashes and that, because then things will blow all the snot out that you need to blow out. I like the detailed videos. I just don't really want to. It's bad enough I to listen to myself every day waffling on. But I just like watching the videos about sound. On. I like to watch the videos on my. Uh, iPad, because I do have one of them with a completely busted screen.
to close my eardrums out, which is okay because they're already done. You know, I listen to music that I like to listen to, but I don't normally listen to it while I'm driving, occasionally. Or I can listen to uh, Crackers of Sorts while watching a detailed video, but without the sound up because I just want to watch the video. Go watch a detail video like car detailing or car particulars. It's, I keep saying it. Go watch them and you'll see what I mean. Everybody does the same fucking thing. It's, there's, there's no originality to it. So someone did one, kicked it off, and someone went, oh, I'll do exactly the same content. Why? Do it a little different. Don't make it the same. Stay green, boys. I don't want to stand on the brake. And no, I'm not getting over for you. So, how about it? So, this geezer because I know he's going to be exactly the feckin' same. Oh yeah, look, yeah, he's the same. Awesome. That's great. So I just, I, you know, there is one geezer I like, though. He is, he is, he is definitely got it because he is original. He makes it completely different from everybody else. So I do like him. He's, he's a lot of fun. But you knew boys in that hall, even girls, you know. And then I watch the car ones and it's the same. And it's like, God damn, man, can you... Stop copying each other. It's like the beauty of being original is that you don't copy somebody else. That's what makes you awesome. Why did you put that in it? This gentleman right here, this is stock trans or transport. These boys right here, here he is. So these boys right here will pick this coil up like that and he will now take it and they will use that coil and make it into what it needs to be made into. He's not delivering the coil, he's not taking it anywhere else. Uh, or he's just running down a road either like custom steel and, and uh, wherever else needs it so they can do what they need to do. That's what he's doing. Yes, they do go and deliver as well, but most of what they're doing is just internal transfers as such. Moving stuff around for people in this area. Over on my left in a minute, there's gonna be, I believe it's Dynamic. Dynamic's just got a heap of trucks. A heap of trucks. Over on the left there, that's Dynamics, I believe that's Dynamics. I think it's, I think it's a Dynamics. I swear it's Dynamics. 
Yeah, it is. Yeah, dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, that's their place up there. They got a whole heap of 386 Peterbilt. So they've got some out on the lot. So they got a heap of 386s up there uh, that they parked up because uh, they went out and got a heap of 389s. But the interesting part about that is, uh, I always wondered how much they might sell them for. Pretty decent trucks. I always like the colour of them. It's like a maroony colour. But he's got them out there really lined up against the fence, and I don't know if they're out there for sale or what they're for. I, don't know. I think they've probably got Cummins in as well. I might have Packard, but I just imagine they're probably Cummins. Dynamic. Something, something. Stay green, boys. Stay green. I'm going to get over here. i got to turn up here in a mile or so. So we'll get behind our stock here and we'll run with him. Oh, no, we won't run with him because I've just got a red light. But we had to turn up here in a mile and a half, so. It's actually very quiet today, which is obviously because we're still into the January week of uh, people not really doing much. Yeah, and I think we're about to go in on massive collapse as well, but I could be wrong, but not from all the signs that I've been seeing. Tootly toot toot toots, we got a toot toot, and the toot toot's nearly finished, so hurry up toot toot. We can't go anywhere because the toot toot's in the way. Come on, toot toot, let's go, man, come on, toot toot, come on. See how his chain's back there, how he's got it hooked to the body? So you can see that chain's wrapped uh, coming down and he's got it wrapped around so it doesn't go anywhere. And he's got the one at the front doing the same thing, so. He's got one up by the, he's got two up by the coils. He's just got them laying there. They won't go anywhere. They won't go anywhere. up so that people can go through. We're at 13.25. We went from 13.16 to 13.13 to 13.21. We can't go anywhere now. We had a clean shot but we lost it. So. Mr. Toot Toot Pants is very, very naughty so the lights are just turned again. 
geezers will blow red lights because that's what we do because we have to there's not a lot of traffic coming so we could be good after this as long as the lights change but that's not going to happen so turn that off because they pretty much know that I'm turning so we're in the turning lane I'm losing my valuable driving time at the moment but it is what it is We don't get a turn here, by the way. There's no arrow for us to turn. It's just take a chance on a green and go. So, depends on how many more trucks come. And we got more cars coming, so now we'll be screwed because we can't go. So, nice KW. There's a nice W9. So, once again, we can't really go anywhere. No, we can't. Have we got a turn? Oh, we do get a turn. Oh, we got a green arrow. Huh. Oh, my bad. I apologise. I didn't think we had a turn. Ha. Huh. I'll take that back. These little streets here, you can't turn on them. This is the, the neighbourhood of Madison. When we get up to this sign, we've got to turn. And that'll put us onto where we need to be. going so like I said he's going up here for a transfer it's an internal he'll take that up and then they'll use that steel to do what they need to do with it we get to the top of this road that'll lead us right in the custom it's a big place you'll have a heap of stop signs up here you can park at their place overnight park up in the yard after you've got loaded they're cool and you don't get any issues up here this just is your neighborhood right here so this is uh, pretty much what you're up against, all loves. I don't know any of the people here, but I'm sure they're awesome. Most of some of them will wave at you like, you know, or give you a gesture. Not a rude one, like it's a normal gesture. Gesture. So some of them will, you know. They're not rude people around here. People, people always look at these areas and think they're all criminals. It's like, they're not criminals, mate. They're working people. All love just to live in run down areas. Because, you know, our glorious, uh, <clears throat> you know, those that think they're in charge don't do anything to help the areas because they're pricks.
I've got 5 hours and 53 minutes left of my day. I don't think I'll have enough to make it to Rensselaer. We will see how we do. My total shift at the moment is an hour left on my split. From when I started at uh, 1 o'clock this morning or wherever it was, sometime like that. No, it's one, two o'clock, something like that. Because I was going to get up at midnight and I woke up a little later. And I'm like, ooh, next night, dude. So what I can do is I can get up round here, I can get loaded. I can pull out, I can tarp, strap and tarp down, and then I can take a break and then leave. I just got to make sure that I got enough time. And I don't think, I, f I might have, I think it's like four and a half, five hours. So I might have just enough time to make it. We load out at different places here. I've only loaded out of one place here, which is where all the carabababoos are, which is the trains. So I've only ever loaded out of one place up here. There is other places we load up, uh, load out around here. So I definitely need a twinkle. Oh, but I will twinkle later. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Where's my bottle? It's not far. <laughs> Boom, 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 there we go. We've got another speed up here, right here. They're really good people here. I, 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 uh, I, I don't ever have an issue here. Uh, geezers are awesome, the lady's pretty decent. When I called her earlier, she said, keep on coming, you're okay, but we'll find out. We'll get around here and we'll find out. I will pause it and then sort of record bits and pieces as we're doing what we're doing, so. I could actually just cut the video off and do it, but I won't, so. We'll leave the, uh, uh, we'll leave the tarpening and video at the end of this one, because that way then. If I do the short ones, people get, uh, uh, watch the short ones all the time. And that's fine, because I'm like, who wants to watch 45 minutes of nothing? My dad does, because my dad's awesome. My mum does, because my mum's awesome. And so are a few other people. Actually, everybody's awesome, really. Yeah, they are. Yeah. I'm just talking bollocks, as always, because I'm allowed to. Yeah, again, that's the freedom of being free, to be able to talk bollocks. got to remember that. Some poor bastards aren't free. Poor bastards are, are locked in a, in a bunch of horse. Shite. I've got this big head up my ass coming round at 100 miles an hour because he can. Because he's a fucking idiot. Still bouncing all over the place and throwing shit around, but that's just how he is. He's going to be stuck up my arse. So. He's waving his hands all over the place because he's in a hurry to drop the coil. You need to get that coil off the train, I say. There's the boys up here waiting to get loaded.
Why aren't you at home? Why aren't you at home? Why are you here? You live in Kentucky. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. He's in my way, tell him to move. Is that, that is Alabama? Is that who that is? I thought he was supposed to be in the Carolinas. He's got stand-ups on, right? Where are you going, Rensselaer? Oh, is that flashing? Why? You're not loaded yet. You're not loaded yet. I gotta wait for them two fuckers to get in before me. I gotta wait for them two to get in. Well, I called her earlier, but I didn't give her my number. I might not even load till Monday. It depends. We'll see. Well, fucking Emily told me that it wasn't loading till Monday. That's what she told me. She said they were closed today. That's what she told me. I think she's, I think she's on another planet. Because she told me they were closed today. So I called them up and she said, no, we're open. Come on in. Yeah, that's your center right there. You see that light, that thing that flashes when you put your turn signal on? You see that? So wait, where are you going, Rensselaer? I can't hear you. Take your fucking, take your fucking hood off then, you'll hear me, you twat. Pull your hood down and you'll hear me. Fuck off. I know, I ain't talking to none of you pricks no more. I ain't talking to none. <laughs> I'll come over, hold up. This is uh, Studley, uh, I nicknamed him Studley. So this is Studley. This is uh, 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 Chris Lewis, Lewis Files. Always out of Kentucky. The other one that you didn't see was Alabama Chief. Alabama Chief is awesome. Um, he's out of, uh, uh, I can't think of where it is in Alabama now. He's down there somewhere, he's a good lad. I like them both, they're, they're both good lads. So I'm always, I'm always rude, he's rude and I'm rude. It's just banter, it ain't mean nothing. Insults are not insults, they're only insults if you take them like that. Them two are awesome. So they're out the way. Alabama's on his way back to Rensselaer. And then they're going to go to um, uh, North Carolina. The pair of them are going to North Carolina. And uh, Studley, that one right there, he's going back to North Carolina as well. So.
record in a bit. All right, I'll get loaded. We're gonna build the air up in the trailer. So. This is a graveyard for old diesel engines, so they are everywhere. I can't go anywhere because um, I don't have a lot of time left. So that's where I'm at at the moment. I gotta wait for my, my clock come around because I got that's all I got left wow seriously we're gonna play this silly game doesn't matter what I do it's just gonna be the same all right then okay well there you go so if I hold it like that you can't even see still oh great look oh no you can't see anything but a window awesome all right well I guess that was a waste of time sometimes I just wonder there's the toot toots Toot, 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 toot. So, there's garbage everywhere. There's always garbage everywhere. There's bungees everywhere. So, I got my coils on. I put this over the top, plus the plastic. So, there's the chains that go through the coils. There's the coils. And there's the chains. Two chains on each coil. The plastic goes over it to. Um, Stop it from getting 
moisture in it so that when I tarp it, if it rains, it'll help. And then you've got that strap there and that strap there. And then the chains can't go anywhere, they're tight. And then the plastic comes around the front and it protects it. And the same on the back, and now it's got to throw a tarp over it. And the tarp will come down and the plastic's pretty good to go. There's one of Mavericks. I don't know all who served. Nice looking truck. The poor old lad's been here since this morning waiting on his load. And then this is this end of the coil. Where the chains just come through. And because I'm going to sit till Monday with the load, we put the plastic on and it protects it. And then that blue thing up there, which is my blanket basically, it covers and it protects the tarp when I put the tarp over so it doesn't rip it. So that's it at the moment. Let me tarp it and then I'll show you what it looks like when I finish tarping. And then we'll go from there. All right, there we go. That's my tarp. All right, in a minute. Sunset. All right, I half-assed it. It's not a perfect tarp job. It's pretty disappointing, really. But it'll work. And I want to dry my 27 out, so I could have used a 20. But I wanted to use my 27 because I needed to dry it right out. It's a pretty shitty job. It looks like crap, but it'll work and it'll hold and it'll blow around a little bit. But it'll give air circulation as well, so that's what I needed to do. And I did the same on the back. So Chris uses a, a 20. I think it's trying to rain. Chris uses a 20 and uh, I use my 27, so that's it. That's pretty much where we're at. Um, I normally do it different to this but this time we did it this way and we'll see how it goes going down a road where it'll go floppy 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 on me so it's, it's pretty decent though I've got to check on the weather later see where we're at reflection in my headache rack so there's your two toots being chopped out for steel massive engines over there and we'll end on the sunrise which is over there in the distance so, that's me and you. Oh, boy's getting ready to load. So, it's me and you, you and me. He's going to pull in. There's another one over there. I mean, that's it. Oh, look. So, I can get the sun shot. Where's the sun? Nope. It's there somewhere. Is it there? No. All right, we'll get it with my tarp then. Look, there's my tarp. <laughs> oh my gosh, where is the sunset? It's over there in the distance. Alright, I love you, it's been awesome. What a day. I think I got just enough hours to make it to Rensselaer. I'll leave later on tonight. It'll make me go through the night when it's quiet, nobody's around, and then my tarp I won't be able to see it because it's dark. Awesome. I love you, and I'll catch up later. And everybody else, I love you too, man. I love you too, man. And ladies, later. <laughs>